Hi everyone, we are back because I cannot focus and want to train, but we need to row the Halloween events. Oh, and it's ending soon. We need to like grind and get these items, okay? What are we talking about today? I don't know. We'll just see what happens. Should I do training content? Like, should I just train and talk? Like, would you guys like that? Because I would like it. We need money to get the items at the Halloween place. We have things to do. Oh, I got the pumpkin in case you didn't notice. Ew, could you hear my computer fans? I can. It's terrible. I'm so sorry. Like, I got a comment one time that was like, I could hear your computer fans. I'm sorry. Genuinely, I am. Because I hate the sound of computer fans. It gives me anxiety because when I was a kid, um, I used to sneak downstairs really early. And we had this, like, old Dell computer. It was, like, Windows XP. And I remember I would put that thing on. I'd press the on button. And that computer, it would, like, the second it turned on, the fans were so loud like it sounded like oh my god it was so loud anyway and i remember it would be so loud my parents would wake up and i'd, I'd feel really bad because all i wanted to do was play like what did i play back then i played oh i played horse land i think right what else did i play i played girls go games every day girls go games webkins i played webkins that's what i played can I just say, gaming computers are really fun, you know? Like, I love my gaming computer. I've had it since 2018. I love it. It's amazing. Whatever. But the battery life on them is so bad. Like, I don't know one person who has a gaming computer with good battery life. Like, it's impossible. And even if it has good battery life, there's no point in taking it with you to sit on the couch to play a game because it will burn you. This horse is so pretty. I don't really want to train him, though, because I feel like I have other horses to train. But we don't need to train right now. We need to get Jorvik shillings to buy stuff. Oh my god, look at my pumpkin bet. Yes! Somebody commented on my pumpkin video, and they said, I love your happiness. That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you. Look at him go. See, I didn't really care about him at first with the pumpkin pet. I didn't care about having a pumpkin pet, but now that I have it, I'm like, this is everything. Bro, this is so random, okay? But, um, I love tigers. I'm so sad, okay? I had a dream last night that I had a pet tiger, which you should not own a pet tiger. I'm, I'm telling you this right now. You will be eaten by the tiger. They are not pets. They are wildlife, okay? But, in my dream, though, I had a pet tiger. I woke up and I was like, oh, I'm so sad because I don't have a pet tiger. <laughs> Bro, my dad is playing with the dog downstairs. Do you hear the squeaky toy? Bro, anyway, so, um, right? I think I just really want, like, a tiger plush, obviously, right? Like, I can't stop thinking about tiger plushes because I was on YouTube the one day. The squeaky toy. Oh my god. This is- okay. So, um, <laughs> you could hear it. I was on YouTube the one day and I was like, I don't know how I found it, what I was doing, but like, there's this YouTuber who has like life-size tiger plushes and there's like several YouTubers who like do unboxings of life-size tiger plushes and I'm just like, that? is so cool because here's the thing you don't have to own a tiger to love tigers you can just have a tiger plush like have a life-size tiger plushie right like melissa and doug they sell tiger plushes there is different companies that sell life-size tiger plushes they are a lot of like money though depending on who you go to like hansa right hansa has life-size tiger plushes but they're like six hundred dollars Six hundred dollars. Six hundred? That's crazy. Bro. That's a lot. That's so much money. No, I fell through the sky. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm watching these YouTubers get their life-size tiger plushes, and I'm like, I want that. Right? So I try to find the, you know, the company that sells them, and it's so hard to find a company that sells the tiger plush that I want because, yeah, it's just really difficult to do that. And there's this company called, 
I think Burton and Burton or something. And they sell tiger plushes that look really, really good. But they're out of stock. Because, like, they just don't have any more left to sell. So whatever. And there's this website I went on. And they had this really good deal. They have this, like, five foot long... By the way, that's not including the tail. It's like a five foot long tiger plush, right? I love this tiger. And I'm like, I want it so bad. Then I was talking to one of my friends about it. Literally, I was like, I want this tiger plush. And they were like, like, oh, I'll get it for you. And I was like, what? And they were like, yeah, I'll buy you the tiger plush. And now I'm getting a tiger plush. It didn't arrive yet, but I'm really happy about that. You know, like, I'm genuinely so happy about it because, like, I love tigers. So, can't wait to get it. Can I just say, shipping takes so long, though. Like, I don't know why shipping takes forever. But yeah, I just cannot wait for my tiger plush. I... I hope it looks like the picture or better. I just don't know where I'll put it because like I never gave a room tour, but my room is my bedroom, office, gym. <laughs> like my room is so tiny, but I literally like I fit everything into it. Like I, oh yeah, my closet as well. Um, like I, I literally cram everything into it. So I'm thinking I'll put my tiger plush like probably on my bed or something. I saw somebody post a picture of their tiger plush. It's the Burton and Burton one, I think. And I'll post a picture of it on the screen, but, like, it's so cute. It looks real. Like, I love realistic plushes. Like, I don't know what it is, but just realistic-looking plushes make me so happy because it just... I love when they look real. I don't know what it is. It's just... They look real. Like, I love the idea of, like, like, imagine, though, if you had a tiger plush in your room, right? But, like, let's say you were, like, awfully tired and you forgot you even had it because you just, you just got it, right? And you walk into the room and you see it laying there. You're like, oh, and then you realize it's, uh, it's you know, it's a plushie and you're like, oh, never mind. Like, no longer terrified. But, yeah, I saw this picture online of this family who owns a tiger. I'll post the picture on the screen. I didn't realize how big tigers were, which, like, I've been to a zoo before. I know what tigers- I know how big tigers are, but, like, tigers are, like, giant. And it's so sad they're, like, being kept as pets because, like, they don't get a proper life, you know, like, as they would in the wild. Obviously, the wild is, like, really dangerous because, you know, people poach animals and stuff like that. But, like, they need so much exercise, they need so much food to even live, and, like, people are buying, like, taggers in secret because like I don't think you're allowed to sell taggers and lions anymore so people do it like secretly and like a lot of the taggers and lions people are buying are like really ill like you know how if you go to a puppy mill don't do that by the way but puppy mills puppy mills bird mills um what else is there rodent mills they'll have like the sickest animals and they will sell them to you and pretend they're healthy so that's what's happening with, like, taggers. There's tiger mills. Like, there's, in secret, there's tiger mills. And they're selling taggers to people. And it's really, really sad because people are getting taggers as a pet, which you shouldn't have to begin with, but they're not even getting a healthy animal. They're getting a healthy, they're getting an unhealthy animal. And it's just so tragic. But yeah, big thank you to my friend who is getting me the tiger plush because I... I'm very excited to get it. It looks amazing. I just, I love taggers. I don't know why. I don't know why. I remember when I was like 10, I always wanted a tiger as a pet. I was like, I want a tiger as a pet. I want a lion as a pet. I don't know why. I think it's just the idea of having an animal that large because it's like, you know what I mean? It's like a Doberman can protect you. You know, a Great Dane can protect you. But like, I feel like it's just the idea of having an animal that can protect you. Like, like I don't know. I've always wanted, like, a German Shepherd, too. Because it's like a German Shepherd is, like, like a guard dog, you know? But, like, a guard cat? No one would ever mess with you then. They'd be like, oh, I can't talk to them because, like, I can't be mean to them because they have a tagger. Are you kidding me? Bro. I just love the idea of, like, having an animal as a best friend who will protect me through everything. Because they don't even have to bite. They could just stand there and people are like, oh, never mind. I gotta walk away. 
like, would you be mean to someone who has a pet tagger? No. But, like, in reality, though, if you have a pet tagger, like, they could turn on you in any day. Like, they could be really cute and cuddly and everything, but then one day they could get a little bit too hungry. I read somewhere that, like, taggers, they could hear your pulse at all times. This just turned into a tagger podcast. I love animals. Like, here's the thing. I don't, like, here's, okay. So, I don't like animals in the sense of, like, people own them and they treat them wrong. So then that makes me upset because now when I think of animals, I think of animal neglect. You know? But I really love wildlife because it's like, they're so pretty and it's so sad what they go through because people get greedy and they want to sell them as a pet or they want to like, bro, the tagger mill industry. When I heard that was a thing, I was shocked. Like there's tagger mills. Like there's puppy mills, but there's tagger mills. What? I don't think there's any tiger mills in the United States, but I could be wrong. You never know. Like, yeah. I was watching this documentary one time about people who own wildlife. They own, like, lions, tigers, bears, but they live in, like, a neighborhood. They don't live in, like, a huge mansion. They live in, like, a neighborhood. Like, like they have neighbors, you know, like a regular neighborhood. And they were interviewing the neighbors, and they were like, how would you like to know that your neighbor has a tagger? And they were like, what? Right. And the interviewer said, yeah, like, your neighbor has a tagger. Did you know that? And they were like, no, I didn't know that. What do you mean there's a tagger? And they were telling the people as, like, an interview, like, yeah, they have a tagger as a pet. And, like, their tagger's in their house at all times. And I was like, what? Like, it's crazy. Do you guys remember that thing that happened in Texas last year? When that guy's tagger escaped his house? That was crazy. But yeah, when I was a kid, I wanted a tagger as a pet so bad. I don't know why. But I'm really happy I'm getting a tagger plush because that will fulfill the need for wanting to have wildlife. Because you don't need to own wildlife, you just have to- Like, you don't have to own a wildlife to, to love them, you know? Like- I think a lot of people feel like if you love an animal, you'll own it. But that's not how it is. Like, you could love animals and just never own them. You know what I mean? Like, you could love horses to the moon and back and never own a horse ever in your life. Oh, I want to- so, like, I have a, a tip. I have a life hack. If you want to get Jorvik shillings fast at the Halloween keep so you could buy more stuff, take your autumn tokens and trade them in for a jar and then sell the jar. Like, do this. Go here. And then trade. For the jar. And then sell the jar. I did that and got like 3,000 because I had 80 tokens I didn't need. Because I don't really like um, the items that we could trade for. So I got what I wanted and then I stopped trading. And now I just like get the jar and then I, you know, get more shillings. Yeah, we might just cut it off here. I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs>